Hey, what's up, guys? Y'all sit down. We got to talk about Diddy and Young Miami. Y'all, there are blind items popping up. And I went to the Instagram feed and there are things to corroborate it. Y'all, let's get into this. If you guys don't know, Cassie's BFF has come out swigging. Diddy thought it was over by paying off Cassie. Baby, they did the tag team and said, baby, now my girlfriend going to get you. I done got everything in your bank account. And now my girlfriend is going to get you, baby. Cassie and her whole crew is having a freak off with Diddy, just not in the way that he likes. Baby, listen, if you guys don't know, people have been wondering what's going on with Diddy and Young Miami. She went real, real quiet. And when I looked at her Instagram this uh, feed this morning, I she said she was like, she's back in the studio. She's on a private party. And I said, look at Diddy putting his last cash cow to work. Because if you guys don't know, De Leon has pulled out. Revolt TV is in trouble. His whole world is crashing down. Just when he thought that he could rebuild everything or at least st start to rebuild it, baby, the California laws have made it even worse. So get this, right? I was on Young Miami's Instagram feed, minding my business to me nosy, and I noticed a lot of pictures were missing. She is quietly deleting things, and it made me think about this blind item I literally read yesterday, but there was so much stuff going on. I was like, yeah, whatever. I finally had time to research. Y'all, let me read this blind item to you, right? Y'all go do your own research and let me think. What does this have to do with anything? Because, baby, it wraps all in to Cassie's lawyer. I'll explain that in a second, y'all. Turn your turn your uh, sound off. We about to get into the blind items. You know how we do. All right. Where's my music? Um, Maestro, where is my music? All right. Ready? Let's go. The tangled web of take that took that mm. all right should be called the downfall hey there i got some juicy gossip on take that took that his comeback seemed to be all set but things have gotten complicated you know his longtime girlfriend right the one that escaped him believe it or not when she he, she turned against him now she secured a rumored settlement that's off the charts he thought he'd left these issues behind, but it seems like the past has a way of catching up. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. He assumed the other accusers were easy targets due to their financial constraints. That's right. It doesn't matter whether they were telling the truth. Take that, took that, right? Had a strategy. His strategy drained them financially in legal battles. But... He didn't anticipate the cunning of his ex-girlfriend's lawyer, a mastermind at setting traps that would make Machiavelli proud. Come with me, Hail Mary, run quick seed. What do we have here now? Do you want to ride or die? La, 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 la. Okay, that wasn't in the blind item, but you know. I ain't no killer, but no push me. Revenge is like the sweetest joy next to getting bowed down. Okay, anyway. They said, this is where take, uh, take That's overconfidence may be his downfall. Despite his meteor meteoric rise from a Harlem dancer to a billionaire mogul, it's his own ego that's turning against him now. He's entangled in a web he didn't even see coming. Now, the plot thickens with his recent, and this is where it gets good, y'all, pay attention, with this recent realization that, he's in, that he is ensnared or trapped by his ex-girlfriend's lawyer's intricate plan. This lawyer isn't just any legal eagle. They've got international clout with significant ties to France. Why does France matter, you ask? Well, let's dive into that, y'all. His current flame, a well-known figure in the rap scene, has been oddly scrubbing her social media clean from their recent French escapades. They had a lavish celebration in Paris, flaunting their romance in front of the Eiffel Tower. Mm, but now, those posts have vanished. It raises the question, what exactly went down in Paris that they're so desperately trying to erase? 
This friend's angle is especially concerning when you consider that the ex-girlfriend's lawyer's track record and has deep connections there. It hits at something more scandalous and potentially incriminating that might have went down during the Paris getaway. Everyone in the know is watching closely. The more take that and his circle try to cover their tracks, the more suspect they appear. Deleting evidence from social media? <laughs> Classic move. But not when you're dealing with a seasoned lawyer who's probably already steps ahead of them. Keep your eyes open and those screenshots coming. The unraveling of Take That Took That's empire might be more dramatic and revealing than we ever imagined. This is a story about power, deception, and the hidden truths that are slowly coming to light, right? They said this saga is far from over. There's more to uncover and I'm on it, y'all. So you know when I read that, right? I was just like, you know me, hmm. I went to Young Miami's feed and they're not joking. A bunch of stuff was actually deleted quietly and she's changing captions almost as if they don't want to be associated with whatever happened in Paris. Y'all hold on, let me go back there. All right, so you know I got nosy. I got on the web and I found all the photos they deleted. However, and there was a bunch she deleted, right? The private island, the this to that. But the one thing that caught my eye that I had saw a connection with was the deleted post of them in Paris celebrating, right? Um, a happy birthday to Diddy. And then you got the blind item talking about what happened in Paris. And if you guys don't remember Cassie's, right? Now we don't know if this blind item's about Diddy, but and Diddy has maintained his innocence. He said, these are all lies, cash grabs, gossip, innuendo, and he will claim his name, reclaim his family's honor, and clean up his legacy. To which I say, <laughs> good effing luck, right? Now, sorry, I just noticed something alarming. Okay, and I was like, good effing luck, right? good effing luck. Okay, now, right? So we have all the things that, thing now the other part of the blind item when they said that the lawyer is playing chess basically and D diddy's playing connect four if you guys don't know cassie's lawyer has deep ties to france how he took down the most powerful man politically in france there is dominic strauss he is the head he was at one point the head of the international monetary fund he came to new york because the IMF was having, and this is the International Monetary Fund. If you don't know what it is, Google it. Maybe it's big. It's the world's bank. He was the head of it. He flew into New York because there was like something that the IMF was, was happening. You know, like the way United Nations always has something in New York. While there, there was a maid that came into his room to clean up. He allegedly graped the maid, then tried to offer her like $100. It was just weird. It was sick. It was like, whatever. Douglas Wigmore, that is Cassie's lawyer, got involved. Not only did that maid be able to retire, we haven't even heard from her. She probably bought the moon and she's building a pool out back, right? But Dominique Strauss-Kahn, he was at one point slated to be the next president of France. When I say this boy was powerful and connected, he was powerful and connected. He is now in political obscur obscurity. He, they ruined his life. Now, I'm not saying he didn't deserve it, but a lot of people also said that it was a skilled political takedown from the opposition party in France. Who knows is all that's true? What we do know is he took down Dominique Strauss-Kahn. We don't know who was helping him. But again, Cassie's lawyers has deep, deep, deep ties to France. And the fact that Carisha deleted it, because she has other pictures of Diddy and her, like on the yacht, all oh, that another year with you. I think it's for New Year's Eve. Diddy hasn't been deleted from her feed. But yet the France stuff is, what are they trying to hide? And I honestly feel like uh, uh, the Cassie's lawyer who is representing the new victim has been sitting there keeping track, taking names, probably monitoring all the social media feed before he even reached out to Diddy. So whatever they think they are clumsily trying to hide, baby, if it went down in France, 
please believe he's going to get to the bottom of it. Y'all, I don't know. That's what the blind arm stating. What are you thinking? But is at everything kind of connecting? Again, Diddy has not been convicted. He says he's innocent. Maybe he is. We're going to have to wait into a court of law. As of now, I believe the accusers. However, you never know. Maybe he might be able to move mountains, but baby, I don't know. If I was young Miami, I do not know why it seems like she is sticking by his side. I don't know what she, he promised her, but maybe it's bigger than him because at the end of the day, um, the record companies look like they might be going down to more on that later. Y'all, this is going to be a heavy upload day. I'll be live later. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.